Hi guys, it's Lisa from Lisa's Crochet. <laughs> why, why do I do that? Oh well, I guess it's my thing now, isn't it guys? Okay, look guys, look! Ha ha! I finished it! I finished my boho spirit in the color, in the color breeze that Loopy Ange gifted to me. Two skeins of it, each one being 240 meters. So 480 meters. I did, I finished the easy, cow, easy crochet cowl tutorial. Look guys, look. Look how big it is. Ha ha. Pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, once again, I, I'm sorry, but I'm like, I'm like amazing myself because I know there's a way to tell which is, which ways. <sighs> I'm sorry, but I'm bragging because I'm amazing. Okay. And I did um, like, um, I finished this off by like single crochet, I think. I think. Anyway, it my measures from here, I don't know if they can see it, Honey Lover's not helping me. From here to here, my measure's 142 inches. And from up here to down here, it measures 25 inches. So, um, with this, you know how projects grow, right? Because here, I mean, I got... Where is it? Where's my marker? Okay, so I got like this far to this row here with the first ball. Well, I think, maybe I'm wrong. No, I must be wrong. Because according to where I put my stitch marker, out of the second ball of yarn, I just got these more rows. No, that doesn't make sense. No, that can't make sense. I only got this many rows. Well, let me have a look. Oh, yes, I did. Okay, so when I showed you last, I believe I got to row 45. Did I, guys? What was my last video? Oh, I'm so prepared. Anyway, anyway, what does everybody think? Do you love it? Oh, I just love it. Like, look. I know I have to kind of go like this and then go like that. Yeah. Ha la la la. It is beautiful. I don't know. Can they see it? I need your help. Yeah. So ending on the end on um uh Alilla row 45 is you end you end on row five. You'd like do it's basically a repeat you do your 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 starter row and then you do row one row two and then from rows three to seven you just keep repeating three to seven three to seven three to seven three to seven and she ends and i ended two on a row on the row five so you just follow her tutorial there's my notes and I just kept checking off, checking off. And I put the time stamp so I knew how to, knew where to go back. Like, you know, like, let's say I'm on row 28. Well, row 28 was going to be row three. So, yeah, see, I have my, see, I have my row three, four, five, six, seven. So all these are the repeats. So, I love it. Yes, I'm going to make another one because I think it's stunning. And I'm wondering, okay, so look, okay, do you want to come with me? Do you guys want to come with me over here and I'll do a little model for you? Okay, let's go, guys. Okay, so here it is. There. So here it would be as a shawl. Yes, I'm wearing my, don't show, but I'm wearing my, well, you can probably see my pajama pants and my, Anyway, I put, a, I put a bra on for you guys. <laughs> That's a rarity. So there's the shawl. Can they see the length? Mm -hmm. And then, like, so there you go. There's your shawl if you want it as a shawl. And then this is 
I'll, I'll put this on like that. There. There. And then pretty. Is this pretty or what, guys? Anyway. Anyway, whatever. Like, it's kind of there, right? No way. Eh? Look at that. That's nice. See that? And then at the back. Oh, no, well, I guess there's nothing to show at the back. It's all in the front. <laughs> okay, so. I love this. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's go back. Okay, we're back. So I guess that's, oh, so then, okay, so that's done and I'm excited. And yes, I'm putting this back on my, my hooks, guys. This is stunning. I'm sorry. Yes, I'm over bragging about this, aren't I? What is this, my third video? Oh, well, oh, well, put up with it, guys. Um, so what's on my hook now? On my hook now is the Yarn Bee Dazzling in the color Windstorm that Karen Y gifted to me videos ago. Um, maybe I'll put some of these suggested links somewhere here. Maybe not. Let's see. So what am I making? I've made this before. I made this before in one of my previous videos. It's another bag a day crochet tutorial. And um, so I've got two balls left. She gifted me how many total of these. And um, I made a shawl before and I gave it to my mom for Christmas. I made a hat and I gave that to my mom for Christmas. And I made another hat and I gave that to my, there's a lady that lives over there. She's got cancer, like bad cancer everywhere. Yeah, I posted but the picture of one of the hats that I'd made that I made for my mom for Christmas and she on my Facebook and she said she liked it and you know how much and I'm like sorry but um it's a Christmas gift from my mom and uh I didn't think I could get any more of this yarn and that was it and then Karen Y graciously gifted me more unaware of this whole story happening and uh, so thank you so much Karen Y because I made another hat and I gifted it. Her name's Teresa and I gifted it to her. And it just made me feel so good inside because, um, yeah, um, yeah this uh, hats, no, hats not hate thing is going around. And I know this is like, not, I'm not talking about that right now. Um, and it's about bullying. <coughs> well, she has to go to chemo every single day. And she's gotta to go to Toronto, which is like three, four hours away from here. And she's gotta go there every day for chemo. And she, she's lost all her hair. And I guess there's a neighbor, I don't know who this is, um, but is it a he or a she? I think, oh, I think it's, oh, no, I think it's a mother and, mo listen to this guys. It's a mother and daughter, okay? And um, so Teresa will, will wear a hat and um, is very self-conscious, of course. Who wouldn't be? So she's in her own home. And she feels safe in her own home and um, didn't have a hat on. So she, I guess she walked by her kitchen or window, right? And and this woman that lives next door, I don't know who this is, but a woman and her daughter are, what were they? They were making fun of her and pointing at her and laughing at her inside her own house. They were outside. She didn't have a hat on. Like, really? Oh my God. So anyway, so she had posted that, that story on her um, Facebook page. And uh, so anyway, I sent her, because she had liked that hat that I had given my mom. So thank you so much, Karen White. You made this woman so happy because I was able to 
crochet her that it was a shell stitch hat. There's a video I have on where I made that hat and cowl. And she really, really loved it. So I was able to give it to her. And I also gave her another hat. I gave her, um, I think I gave her that cotton one that I made from um, um, Debbie the Canadian Crotcheter's tutorial um, called the no name, the no name hat. So I gave her that. And then she asked, uh, she's going to have, she has a granddaughter that I think turned one. And then, so actually, yeah, so I, like, I'm, I can't believe I've inspired people to crochet because I'll post pictures on my Facebook page. And a lot of my Facebook friends, not in our community here on YouTube, but they're crocheting. So she, she's crocheting that helps um, with her time and helps keep her mind off things. Um, and so she's having a grandson. And so she had asked me if I had any, you know, boy color yarn. Well, I'm flooded like to make a blanket. Yes, I have, you know, balls of yarn, you know, skeins of yarn in boy colors, but Nothing I have is is enough, you know, to have made a blanket. Actually, honey, can you grab me that? Is it the green one I gave her? But anyway, remember I had opened up the yarn in it was yarn inspirations millions, long videos ago. See on the bottom, is it the green? That big huge ball. So I got all these big huge balls. No, no, big huge light light mint green on the bottom. So at first I was like, oh no, sorry, you know, I, all I have are, you know, like to make a blanket. And then I remembered, so remember that, that, thank you. Remember like this huge ball? So I gave her one of these. So she is happily crocheting a baby blanket for her, her next grandchild to be born. And uh, she's very happy. And I was very happy to have been able to do this for her. So, anyway, I just, yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you all. Her name's Teresa, and she's a, a lovely, lovely person. And she had, um, she had start. maybe I'm not supposed to share her story. Um, but she had gone on the keto diet, and she was walking, and she was, you know, trying to get healthier. And, you know, when she had first heard that she was going to have a granddaughter, and then... She found out she had cancer, and it's everywhere, I guess, hey? It's, like, it's everywhere. It's, it's everywhere. Like, where did she say it was? Stomach, liver, lungs. Stomach, liver, mm -hmm. lungs. Yeah. Oh, man. So, anyway, I was just so honored and happy, and so I gifted her one of these, because, like, look, and I got, look. But I, I was happy that I had some, I mean, it's, oh, it's a baby boy color, right, guys? Yeah, because, uh, like, to make a blanket, you need, obviously, a lot of yarn. And, and yes, like I said, I've got balls of this and that, but nothing to make a blanket out of. So I was happy to have done that, and I was so happy to have gifted her this hat. So thank you, Karen Y. Yeah, she really loved that, this hat that I made from this, so I was happy. Okay, so I kind of took off on took off on a tangent there, didn't I? Um, so, well, say prayers for for Teresa, beautiful, beautiful, nice, nice woman, and she just started a new job. Oh my God! Yeah, she just started a new job. They um, they had a, they opened up a pizza store here in the uh, there's a corner corner store here where I live. Yeah, they opened up a pizza, and it was good pizza. But with the cost of things, and like she had to pay rent for that building, and with the cost of produce itself, you know, like the pepperoni, and I mean, they put tons of, tons of items on this pizza. I should show, I, well, anyway. Um, oh yeah, Stephen's band actually did a commercial for the ball. It was, um, Steven and his band would have band, I call it band camp. They'd jam here and uh, we'd order pizza from, pizza from them. And so I got them, I got the, Steven and his drummer and his guitarist to sing a little, uh, 
a little song for them when they when they had the store, but it shut down. Maybe I'll I'll include that video or I'll put a you know a, a link to that video if I can find it. It might just have been on Facebook. But anyway. This is gonna be a long video. Okay, so oh I'm not I haven't shown you yet when I'm starting. So with this yarn, and so I have two more, two more skeins of this left, and I started making the man-made, I've made this before, uh, man-made paradise shawl by Bag of Day Crochet, tutorial number 641. So this has been on my hook since um, last night I started this. After I finished this one, I put this on my hook. Because remember, I had gifted, I made one of these before and I gifted it to my mom. It was shorter though, because I think I just had the one ball. I don't know, I can't remember. You have to watch that video. There's a video out there that I made about this, that I made and gave, gave my mom. It, it's, this is gorgeous. So I wanted to make another one. So this is going to be a bigger one because I have two balls. Two skates, whatever. Okay, so that's it. This is long. Oh, so... Grandma Benny, Chris, you had asked about my last video that I posted saying, um, can I have the pattern, please? The skirt and this vest. So there are, I did make videos on this. I did make a video on this and I put the link in the description box of that video for this. And the last video I did, I did put in the description box below this video. There's a description box that you open up. And I put the link to this tutorial. I don't know about patterns because I don't read patterns yet. I'm, I'm working. Like, she helped me, though, because she writes it above. So that kind of helps me with how to read a pattern. But anyway, um, I'll link the... And this actually is not as... Well, this is supposed to be a sweater. It's supposed to have arms. So the link I'll put in the description box will have... The link to the sweater tutorial I found. Now, to, now give me a give me a, a few minutes. It might not instantly show up in the description box of this video because it'll take me a while. Um, but I just I never finished it, so it's a vest. So I'll I'll relink this sweater, which I just made into a vest, and I will relink this skirt. Both tutorials. Okay, so that's it. Oh yeah, I didn't say today's date, did I? Did I? Today's March 14th, 2020. My sister who lives in Halifax, Nova Scotia, cl well, not close to you, Sharon, but in the same province. Um, her and her family were supposed to leave for Morocco today, but with this coronavirus, nope, that trip's been canceled. As well as so, like, it, churches, schools, Concerts, you name it. What is it? Over 250 people? Sports, um, you name it. Everything is shutting down. Scary. Stitch Fest has been canceled. I don't know if I'm allowed. I should have said that, but yeah. Oh, well. Okay. Have a great weekend, guys. I think that's all I'm sharing. So keep, keep uh, Teresa in your prayers. I know you don't know her, but you know, please add Teresa to your prayers. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day crocheting. I'm going to finish this baby off. Lovely. Bye. Oh, I forgot to tell you. At the end of this video, I'm going to put a little clip of who came to visit me. <laughs> And, and you'll know her. And let me give you a hint. The hint is Walmart animal crackers. Stay tuned for that little clip. She visited me today. Okay, bye. Hi, Granny D. <laughs> Granny D, what are you doing? What are you doing at my place? You having something to eat? <laughs> hey. Granny D. Oh, she must be eating her uh, Walmart cookies, is she? Her, um, 
Her animal crackers.